All right, y'all, I'm sitting here with uh, Paul Stream. He's the owner of the Libby House and Barn. Um, the barn is the hostel where all the uh, through hikers can come stay. Uh, Paul, man, A first, it's been great getting to know you today. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about your history here. I know you've only been here about four years. I've been here about, like you said, four years. When I first came here, um, it was a little bit run down. It wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. And uh, it had bunk beds all the way around the wall. And uh, I decided that I wanted to make it more comfortable for the hikers. So I took out all the bunk beds and put in full-size beds and twin-size beds. Most of the mattresses are, are new. And uh, it was very receptive. They really appreciated the fact that I was more about their comfort, you know, than, than just putting old sloppy saggy bunk beds mm -hmm. and I took them all out and got rid of them and uh, the previous owner had permission to do tenting and uh, he didn't really cater too much to tenting but some people just prefer to be in a tent rather than to be inside so uh, I opened the grounds up cleaned up the grounds up and mowed everything and so now I, they can come in and tent if they want to pitch a tent they can Let's talk prices. How much is tending? Tending is $15 a person, but that includes the use of the kitchen. I have a full kitchen in the, in the lower part of the barn. I have a nice lounge area, two big comfortable couches, two big lazy boy chairs. Yeah, we'll go down and film that. And, it's uh, a very nice place down there. It's uh, $15 a person to tent, and uh, that includes a shower, use of the kitchen area. I do have washer and dryer, and it's $5 for wash and dry. And uh, some places do not really want uh, two or three people to use one load, but if there's two or three or four guys or girls and they just want to put it all and share the money or the five bucks, I'll let them do that too. It doesn't matter to me. And, um, Very good. How much for a, uh, a bed up here? It's 22 bucks a night. And again, that includes a hot shower and I've supplied the towels. And every bed has uh, sheets, top sheet, fitted sheet bed spreads, extra pillows if they need them, and uh, it's all around comfortable, you know, for them. It is. I was telling Paul today, y'all, that uh, um, I compare this to the woodchuck, and y'all know how fond I am of the woodchuck, because that has been rated my number one hostel so far up until this point. So that's what this has a feel, and Paul is a lot like woodchuck. He's just a nice guy, cares for the hikers. Um, and just kind of looks after your comfort. He drove me to Walmart, and, and he only had to pick up a couple of things and sat in the doggone car while I finished shopping. So, again, just like Woodchuck did, man. And this has got a really good vibe here, Paul. I really like it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Yeah. And uh, this is, I showed him this earlier today, but this little barn door, that window that opens. And I sat in this spot probably four hours today because this is so cool just looking down over the street. It'll even open further if he want more air. Wow. Oh, that is man. awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Well, you get a nice cross breeze. There's a back window, and uh, it's even when it's real hot out, you always get a breeze coming down the mountains, down the ridge into the foothills here. And it's pretty decent year round up in here, actually. So cool. All right, we'll go downstairs, y'all, and I'll let uh, Paul show y'all around the bottom floor. Okay, y'all, we're downstairs now. Paul's going to show us around the bottom floor. Okay, it's pretty easy and simple. It's a nice layout, nice floor plan. I've got a full kitchen here. Every single pot, pan, utensil you can think of I have. I have an oven and a top stove, refrigerator, nice. table to, to eat at. If we need more table space, I can even open up another table for them, you know. And then we come over here as a nice little lounge area. Got two big comfortable couches. Two lazy boy chairs. <laughs> Check it out. And they get in these chairs some days they don't want to get out of them, but that's, that's okay too. And I think as far as I know, I've got a computer table and plenty of plugs and outlets. Oh, for yeah. For I didn't even see that. Check that out. And your, your uh, devices. Awesome. And uh, over here, I think as far as I know, unless <laughs> somebody proves me wrong, I'm the only hostel with a ping pong table. Active, too. You can see and the paddles and all the balls sitting over there, too. Awesome. The guys get in here and play sometimes for hours. That's they'll have, cool. They'll have teams and, and uh, it's just a nice way for them to pass their time and kick back and relax you know it's awesome so and uh, I have a uh, loaner clothes plenty of loaner clothes guys because some hostels don't provide those and I do and uh, washer and dryer I forgot to show you that you can do your own laundry over here it's, it's just five dollars uh, 
per load. That includes wash and dry. Awesome. And then back through the other door there is where the bathroom and the showers are. Also. I'll, I'll so, take y'all in there just to yeah. show that real quick. And the shower's real clean, and the bathroom's real clean, and uh, it was good to go. Something else I like are these little cloth covers that he has on here. So when the dirty hikers come in and sit down, man, you can just pull those off and wash real That's quick. It. Just change them out and wash them up and, and yeah. throw them back. I'd like to say one thing yep. just for him. I called this guy about five or six times in the last two weeks asking about the weather and when it might be safe to go over. And very courteous and friendly and informational and I appreciate What's it. What's your trail name? R.A. Wizard. So he's R.A. Wizard and Wizard, tell us what you're doing with your profile. Uh, well, I, I tried to through hike in 2010 and my asthma got me at, uh, at uh, Dragon's Tooth. My knee went out in 2012. I had it replaced in 2014. I've been section hiking. And uh, last year I made it to Crawford Notch and this knee was swollen. So rather than climb the mountain and have to get rescued, I went home and I'm going to try to finish this year. So he's going from Crawford Notch to Katahdin. I hope so. Starting tomorrow morning? Yep. All right, good luck, man. Thank you, and good luck to you. All right, Paul, I appreciate it, buddy. Okay. This has been real good. And, guys, Thanks I'll take lot. you into the bathroom just so you can see it, and uh, that'll be it. All right, y'all, just real quick. This is the bathroom. Nothing too fancy, but clean. Um, got your toilet. Got your shower. Clean. And he's also got um, shampoo and soap for you as well. Um, so good to go, man. And this is separate from the bed and breakfast part of the house which is through that door so it's good um if you need something he's got a little doorbell that you can ring um from inside the barn right here and then he can come attend to whatever you need so very cool and he's got a little pack scale here too i gotta put mine on there in the morning.